All right, so now we're on to the individual round. Luckily, calculators are legal. Number one, everybody's favorite. Suppose Mike raked his yard, or can you rake his yard in 4.5 hours? So Mike has a rate Mike has a rate of, well, in other words, in one hour, he can rake one four point fifth of the yard. Uh, and then Marie can do the, uh, the same yard at a rate of one over 2.5 in one hour. So in one hour, this is how much Mike does. In one hour, this is how much Marie does. Now, to be honest with you, I don't love the fact that we have decimals inside the fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both of these by 2. Uh, 2 over 2 to get fractions that look a little bit better to, to me. So we have 2 over 9 over here, because multiply the numerator and the number by 2. And over here, we have 2 over 5. All right. So then, uh, how long will it take for them to break it together? So we know that rate times time is equal to work done. So the time, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And so that means Mike is going to do 2 ninths of the work times the time. And uh, Marie is going to do 2 fifths times t of the work. And I know that 2t over 9 plus 2t over 5 is going to equal 1 over 1, because that's one job. So we need a common denominator so I can combine these fractions. And the common denominator for 9, 5, and 1 is 45. So I'm going to multiply the numerator of this one and the denominator by 5. And I get 10t. And over here, times 9 times 9. And I get 18t is equal to 45 over 45. But I'm going to not worry about the denominators because those don't change. So ultimately, I have 28 times t is equal to 45. And now I have a really simple problem to solve. So I take 45, divide it by 28, and I get 1.61. Well, how long is that? Well, one hour. The 1 is equal to 60 minutes. I need to convert this decimal into minutes. So I'm going to take out the 1 hour. And now to figure out how many minutes this is, I'm going to multiply it by 60. And I get 36 minutes. So let's add this together. And notice how this is less than 5, so I'm going to round down to 36. And I get a total of 96 minutes to do the job. All right, I love these fractional problems, don't you? All right, so we start at the bottom. To, and to add these things together, we have to have common denominators. So obviously, the denominator is going to be 3. Uh, but 3 over 3 is not equal to 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. So let's add these together. And I get uh, 11 over 3 over 2 plus 2. All right. now. What this is saying is saying 2 divided by 11 over 3. But to d divide a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. And so we'd get 6 over 11. The easier way to think about it is bottom up and multiply. So we end up with 2 over 3 plus 6 over 11. Again, let's repeat the process. This needs to be over 11, so we get 33 over 11. So now we have 2 over 39 over 11, bottoms up. And so we get 22 over 39. And lo and behold, we got both of them right. Sweet. Come on, anytime now. All right, number three, easiest problem in the lot. What is the median value? So this is a box plot. This is the minimum. This is the lower quartile. This is the median. This is the upper quartile. And this is the max. And we want the median, 50. Whew, that was quick and easy. 
Okay, to complete a marathon, a runner must run. Oh, I remember this problem. So we have two halves. We have 13.1 for the first half. We have 13.1 for the last half. And the first half of the marathon, we went seven miles per hour. And we remember that rate times time is equal to distance. And the second half, they were going 5.5 miles per hour. So we need to first find the total time. And to do that, we need to find the time of both halves. And then finally, we can find the average speed. So this is our game plan right here. So to find the time, we know that rate times time is equal to distance. So we know 7t is equal to 13.1. So 13.1 divided by 7. And over here, same process, 13.1 divided by 5.5. And then I'm going to add to that my first half time, which is 1.871. And so it, total, it took us a total of 4.2528 hours. And so we know that that times the rate is equal to distance. Well, the distance is 26.2. So now we need to divide 26 by 0.2 divided by my 4.2528. And I get 6.16 miles per hour. Sorry, Colin. 0.2. All right, last two problems, maybe, five time. All right, the OED, Oxford English Dictionary, is 20 volumes, uh, and they weigh 64.2 kilograms. They all weigh the same in pounds, and it, this is the thing you have to know. There are 2.2 kilograms in, sorry, 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So we simply take 64.2, divide it by my 20 volumes, and then uh, multiply it by my 2.2, which gives me a grand total of 7 point, and it says the nearest tenth, one. Excellent, last problem. Investigators believe, oh geez, this one takes forever. And I have basketball practice. All right, so um, 36 million over six past six years. The number of people who had their identity stolen if the in the fifth year, how many people had their identity stolen in the first the five years? So we have year five, year four, three, two, one. And so we know this is 7.35. And this is a linear relationship, and the sum is going to equal 36 million. Uh, and notice how this is all in millions, which is helpful. And so this number is going to be 7.35 minus the slope. This one is going to be 7.35 minus 2 of the slopes, 7.35 minus 3 slopes, and 7.35 minus 4 slopes. In all, 4 3, 2, 1, that's 10. So I have minus 10 slopes, and we have 5 times the 7.35. I'm just adding these all together. Let's change colors. So essentially, I'm adding all of these together to equal this number. Uh, and so I have 36.75 minus 10x is equal to 36. So then, I'm going to add this to 36, divide it by 10, 
by negative 10. And so that's how that's what our slope is and we want it in the the first so let's multiply that times our 4 right here times 4 and add it to my 7.35 and I get an answer that makes no sense whatsoever now I'm obviously trying to hurry this way too much so let's slow down a little bit so I have 7.35 times 5 7.35 times 5 that's right so I do subtract that from the 36 which 36 minus 36.75 divided by 10 and multiply that by 4 hmm. that is curious I will give candy to I have to go practice uh, coach my son's uh, basketball team so I will give candy to the first person who shows me what I'm doing wrong. Sorry about that.